Welcome first graders to the Minna Anthony Common Nature Center's virtual field trip. You're going to learn so much today and have a lot of fun. Here are your guides. I'm Kim. And I'm Lauren. Join us to learn about the outdoors. Let's get started. Hey everybody, today we're going to be exploring Cottage Trail. Come with me. Let's see what we can find. Everybody, I want you to take a look at this stump right here. Anybody know what happened to this tree? Hmm, think about it. Take a look. It's smooth. Looks like it's been chewed to a pencil point. That's right. That's a beaver. The beaver has those front teeth. They turn their head and they chew around the tree to fall the tree. Then they can take all the soft, tender bark and the buds off the tree. And that's what they eat. I want everybody to take a look behind me. This is the wetland that the beaver used to live in. They like to swim right up to their food. So see where this stump was? It's pretty close to the wetland. Beaver don't like to walk long places. They want to go out of the water and get to their food as quickly as possible. Anybody know why? They have big floppy feet. Don't you think it'd be hard to walk? It's easy to swim, hard to walk. And they also had to drag their food back into the wetland to their den. So they want to be as close as possible. This wetland was once filled with water. The beaver lived here for a very long time in the middle of the wetland with a nice big den, a big pile of sticks. But what happened is, is this wetland started to run out of food. Take a look around. Now they're starting the trees to grow back. At one point, all these trees were gone. The beaver went and chopped all those trees down for its food supply and to control the wetland. After a while, there isn't enough food for the beaver close to the water and they had to move on. When that happened, the wetlands started to dry up. And that's okay because it provides homes for a lot of different critters. But someday when there's a lot of trees and more water in here, who do you think will come back? That's right, beaver. And maybe someday we'll be able to see happy beaver in this wetland again. Until then, we can hear the many frogs and the nesting birds in our wonderful wetland. Everybody come and take a look at this. Look all the way up. What has happened to this tree? It looks like Swiss cheese. Take a look. It's even hollow in here. And something is spewing out of the tree. Take a look at this. What is this? Any ideas? Yeah, let's take a look at these holes. Something made these whole. Would you like a hint? It is a bird. And it perches against the tree. It has a tail that helps keep it balanced against the tree. It has a long beak that can hammer into the tree. You know what it is? The woodpecker. Why would a woodpecker peck a hole in the tree? Likes to make music? 
likes to destroy things? Hmm. Maybe he's hungry. What do woodpeckers eat? Wood? No, woodpeckers don't eat wood. Insects, that's right. Woodpeckers eat insects. Carpenter ants live in the center of the tree, which is called the heartwood. And the woodpeckers love carpenter ants. So what they do is they come over to the tree. They put their ear against the tree and then can hear all those bugs munching inside the tree. They take their big, large beak and they pound a hole in the tree. How do they get those bugs out? That's right. They take their long tongue and they lick inside the center of the tree. Can you try that? Take your tongue and lick all the way around that hole that it made. And he sticks it back into his beak. And then he makes another hole. So this woodpecker, or woodpeckers, there might be more than one woodpecker working on this tree, has gotten a lot of insects out of that tree. Look all the way up. The whole center of the tree must have had a lot of carpenter ants in there. Also something to look about. Remember what I said? This was spewing out. And I showed you what this is. It's very, very, very soft. Actually came from the tree. So when a tree starts to rot, and this came from the inside, came rotting out and it's been laying right here. This is actually rotted down tree log. Now, is this something that we care about? We should care about it. This stuff is like the best thing for plant life. This is like vitamins for a plant. How many of you take vitamins? I take them every day. It's filled with all sorts of things that you need to be able to get stronger and grow bigger. Well, rotting down things like trees here or leaves rot and decompose and turn into vitamins for new plants to grow. Someday, these woodpecker holes, everything will rot down and turn into vitamins for new plants or new trees to grow in this wetland. So lots of exciting things here. Next time you're out in the woods near a wetland or in a forest, look around, see how many woodpecker holes you might find. You might be surprised at how many are out there. Hey everybody. We just got done looking at all the wonderful things in our wetland. And now I have a little fun activity for you to do. In your packet, there is a sheet that says observation sheet. You can go outside in your backyard or in your neighborhood or in the woods and you can fill out this sheet. You can use your five senses. You can write down what you see, what you smell, what you hear, and what you feel. Now, if you can't print this out, you can also just take a regular sheet of paper, take a marker or a pencil, and draw a T, and then you can do your own chart that way. An easy way to write when you're outside is to take a hardcover book. Yeah, I have a nice hardcover book, a clothespin, all you do is put your sheet on the hardcover book with a clothespin, and now you have a great way to write on something hard. Have a good time, everyone. Thanks for exploring with us. Remember to do your own tick check when you get back from your hike. Get outside and have some fun.